Aloha, welcome to KTA Kitchens. My name is Chef Maka Kwan, and today we're gonna to be cooking for you a uh, Chinese roast pork, aka char siu. First, you're gonna need about a four to five pound pound pork butt, and get a lot of fat on there because it makes it really juicy. Also, you're gonna need about a half a cup of sugar, quarter cup of soy, one, half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice, a couple pinches of rock salt, two tablespoons of honey, and four tablespoons of hoisin. And this is very simple. We're gonna mix all the ingredients and we're gonna marinate the pork. That's it, okay? So first, grab all of our stuffs, just like this. And you wanna make sure you mix it good because you wanna mix all those sugars and it breaks it down. Chinese fried spice is stuck. No, it's not. Rockstar, actually Rockstar, I'm gonna put a little bit, I'll show you later. Honey. Because honey is good for you. And then hoisin or plum sauce. Okay, now whisk good. Get out, mix everything really good together. Get all those sugars in there, you know, mix them really good. And what happens, sugar caramelizes in the oven, so if you got like lumps of sugar, you're gonna have lumps on your, on your, on your pork butt. So it makes it really good, okay? And this is the fun part where you get to use your hands. Now all I do is I grab the salt, and I just put the salt over. Let's rub this guy in. Rub him in all around. And actually, we're gonna use the same casserole to cook it in, so get a nice casserole. If you got a metal pan, it's fine. If you don't have a casserole, do what I did. Call your auntie, they got like 12 of these in their cabinet, trust me. Okay, now we're gonna pour all this marinade on top. And if you make too much marinade, you can save it in your fridge, it lasts you, you know, a few days. You can um, make fried rice with it, with the char char siu that you roasted off the day before. Okay, now, hands inside, just rub them inside there. And we want to marinate this for about 24 hours. We want to make sure all this juicy stuff gets penetrated to the pork, okay? And the next day, when you cook it, take it out of your fridge, leave it out for a good hour. Let it get room temperature. Let the internal meat get room temperatures. When you put it in the oven and you cook it and it's cold, the outside is just gonna cook, the inside is not gonna really cook good, okay? So we're done with that. We're gonna foil this guy up. Or a glass cover, saran wrap, put in your fridge. The next day, take it out. Make sure you let it stand for at least an hour or so that you're room temp before you bake it. You can bake it with the foil on top, not the saran wrap or the glass cover that the bowl came in with, okay? Our char siu is done. A couple hours later, we rest it for, you know, 20 minutes. Take it, rest it for as long as you like. Chinatown, they hang them up all day long. But over here in KTA Kitchens, half an hour good. Now, I don't know how you want to cut it. I, you can butcher it up if you want, you cut it anyway. I'm just gonna cut right down the middle. And then, look at that meat. Now that's like roast pork, okay? And then look at that fat, that's my favorite part. And now I'm just gonna slice it. Put it inside your simon, put them in your fried rice, put them inside your bao bun, whatever you wanna do. Char siu, guys. And uh, you know, I would recommend a dry Riesling. You got this savory sweet pork and you got this really good dry, not very sweet, but a touch of sweet, a hint of sweet in the wine. It should complement this pork perfectly. So anyways, I'm Maka Kwan, KT Kitchens. Enjoy your char soup. <laughs>